Good day everyone, my name is Aiden from the Distinction Bound Student. I'd like to welcome you to definitions on terms related to public sector. Without wasting any of your time, let's dive into the lesson. Public sector, the part of an economy that is controlled and managed by the government, encompassing government-owned entities and services provided for the public benefit. Central government, the main or national level of government that is responsible for governing an entire country and making decisions that impact the entire nation. Provincial government, the level of government that operates within a specific province or state of a country and has authority over certain regional matters. Local government, the level of government that governs and provides services at the community or municipal level, serving cities, towns, and villages. Legislation, laws or statutes created by a legislative body, example, parliament or congress, to govern various aspects of society and the economy. Judicial, relating to the judiciary or courts, the branch of government responsible for interpreting laws and ensuring justice is served. Executive government, the branch of government responsible for implementing and enforcing laws and policies. Municipality, an urban or local administrative unit with its own government, typically responsible for providing local services and managing local affairs. Metropolitan area, a large urban region that includes a central city and its surrounding suburbs and urban areas. Province, a territorial division of a country, often with its own government and administrative structure. District, a smaller administrative division within a province or other larger administrative region. State-owned enterprises, companies and businesses that are owned and operated by the government. Undersupply, a situation where the quantity of a good or service provided in the market is insufficient to meet the demand. Oversupply, a situation where the quantity of a good or service supplied in the market exceeds the demand. Market failure, the inability of the market to allocate resources efficiently, leading to suboptimal outcomes and the need for government intervention. Inefficiency, a state where resources are not utilized optimally, leading to waste and reduced productivity. Public goods, goods and services that are non-rivalrous, consumption by one individual does not reduce availability for others, and non-excludable, no one can be excluded from consuming the good. Non-rivalry, the characteristic of a good where one person's consumption does not reduce its availability for others. Non-excludable, the characteristic of a good where it is impossible to prevent people from using or consuming it, even if they don't pay for it. Externalities, the positive or negative effects of economic activities on third parties who are not directly involved in those activities. Positive externalities, benefits arising from economic activities that spill over to third parties, leading to benefits not accounted for in the market. Negative externalities, costs imposed on third parties due to economic activities, which are not fully accounted for in the market. Merit goods, goods and services that are deemed to have a positive impact on society and are underconsumed in the market. The government may subsidize or provide them to ensure adequate consumption. Demerit goods, goods and services that are considered harmful to individuals or society and may be overconsumed. The government may discourage their consumption through taxes or regulations. Monopoly, a market structure where a single seller or producer controls the entire supply of a good or service, leading to limited competition. Redistribution of income, government policies aimed at altering the distribution of income in society to reduce inequality. Progressive tax system, a tax system where the average tax rate increases as income increases, resulting in higher income individuals paying a higher percentage of their income in taxes. Regressive tax system, a tax system where the average tax rate decreases as income increases, resulting in higher income individuals paying a lower percentage of their income in taxes. Monetary policy, the management of money supply and interest rates by the central bank to control inflation and stabilize the economy. Fiscal policy, the use of government spending and taxation to influence the economy's overall level of activity. Interest rates, the cost of borrowing money or the return on investment, expressed as a percentage of the principal amount. Tax, a compulsory financial charge imposed by the government on individuals and entities to fund public expenditure. Government expenditure, the total amount spent by the government on goods, services, and programs. Economic growth, the increase in the production and consumption of goods and services in an economy over time. Sustainable economic growth, economic growth that can be maintained over the long term without depleting natural resources or causing significant negative environmental impacts. Full employment, 
The situation where all willing and able individuals who are actively seeking employment are able to find jobs. Exchange rate stability. The situation where the value of a country's currency remains relatively constant against other currencies. Price stability. A situation where the overall price level in an economy remains relatively constant, avoiding significant inflation or deflation. Economic equity. The fair and just distribution of economic resources and opportunities among all members of society. Aggregate demand, the total demand for goods and services in an economy at a given price level. Aggregate supply, the total supply of goods and services in an economy at a given price level. Non-renewable resource, a resource that cannot be replenished within a human lifetime, such as fossil fuels. National budget, a comprehensive plan outlining the government's expected revenue and expenditure for a specific period. Direct tax, a tax that is directly imposed on individuals or entities, such as personal income tax or corporate income tax. Indirect tax, a tax levied on goods and services, and the burden of which can be passed on to consumers, such as value-added tax, VAT, or customs duties. Personal income tax, a direct tax imposed on an individual's income, usually based on a progressive tax system. Corporate income tax, a direct tax levied on the profits of businesses and corporations. Value-added tax, VAT and indirect tax levied on the value added at each stage of production or distribution of goods and services. Custom duties, taxes imposed on imported and exported goods. Ad valorem, a type of tax calculated as a percentage of the value of the taxed item. Fuel levies, taxes imposed on the consumption of fuel. State debt, the total amount of debt owed by a government. Budget deficit, the situation where government expenditures exceed government revenues in a specific period, leading to a negative budget balance. Transparency, the quality of openness and accountability in government actions and decision-making processes. Accountability, the responsibility and answerability of government officials and institutions for their actions and decisions. Equitable share of national budget, the fair distribution of financial resources from the national budget among different regions or entities in a country. Privatization, the process of transferring ownership and control of government-owned entities to private individuals or companies. Parastatals, government-owned companies or agencies that operate in the private sector. Problem of assessing needs, the challenge of accurately determining the actual needs of individuals and society to allocate resources effectively. Pricing policy, the rules and strategies governing the pricing of goods and services, often used by governments to influence market behavior. Efficiency, the optimal use of resources to produce the maximum possible output. Community goods, goods and services that are jointly consumed and benefit an entire community or society. Price discrimination, the practice of charging different prices for the same good or service to different consumers. Direct subsidies, financial assistance or support provided by the government directly to individuals, businesses, or specific industries to promote certain activities, reduce costs, or address economic challenges. Indirect subsidies, financial assistance provided by the government through measures that indirectly benefit certain industries or sectors, such as tax breaks or reduced regulations. Pareto efficiency, a situation in which it is not possible to make one individual better off without making another individual worse off. In a Pareto efficient allocation, resources are allocated in the most efficient way, and no one can be made better off without making someone else worse off. Bureaucracy, a system of government or organization characterized by hierarchical structure, complex rules, and procedures, and often associated with slow decision-making and administrative inefficiency. Incompetence, lack of ability or skill to perform tasks effectively, which can lead to inefficiency and poor outcomes in governance and management. Corruption, the misuse of power or authority for personal gain, often involving bribery, embezzlement, or other unethical practices. Broadening the tax base, expanding the range of taxpayers subject to taxation by including more individuals, businesses, or economic activities in the tax system. Privatization, the transfer of ownership and control of government-owned enterprises or assets to private individuals or companies. Nationalization, the process of bringing privately owned enterprises or assets under government ownership and control. Nepotism, the practice of favoring relatives or friends, especially in giving jobs or opportunities, regardless of their qualifications or abilities. Disinvestment, the process of selling or divesting government-owned assets or investments. Goalbound fiscal policy, 
a fiscal policy that is designed to achieve specific economic goals, such as reducing inflation, promoting economic growth, or achieving budget balance. Cyclical fiscal policy, fiscal policy measures that are implemented in response to the stage of the business cycle, aiming to stabilize the economy and counteract economic fluctuations. Goal-based fiscal policy, a fiscal policy that is driven by predetermined economic objectives, such as reducing unemployment or promoting income equality. Goal-biased fiscal policy, a fiscal policy that is influenced by the political objectives or biases of policymakers, rather than solely focusing on economic goals. Laffer Curve, a graphical representation of the relationship between tax rates and tax revenue. It suggests that there is an optimal tax rate beyond which increasing tax rates may lead to reduced tax revenue due to disincentives for work and investment. Tax evasion, the illegal act of deliberately not paying taxes or underreporting income to reduce tax liability. Tax avoidance, the legal use of tax planning strategies to minimize tax liability without violating tax laws. Apathy, lack of interest, enthusiasm, or concern, often leading to disengagement from civic and economic activities. Rent-seeking interest groups, groups or individuals that try to influence government policies to gain economic benefits or rents, often without contributing to the production of goods or services. Distribution of income, the way income is divided among different individuals or groups in a society. Economic instability, the condition of an economy characterized by fluctuations in economic indicators such as GDP, unemployment, and inflation. Social instability, a situation in which there is unrest or disruption within a society due to economic, political, or social factors. Allocation of resources, the process of distributing and utilizing scarce resources to produce goods and services in an economy. We have come to the end of today's lesson. Goodbye and God bless. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Also hit the notification bell for you to get notified every time we post new content to our channel. We are also giving away the Distinction Bound Student t-shirts to people who buy more than 10 books. At the moment we have the following textbooks, Economics Grade 10, 11 and 12 plus Business Studies Grades 11 and 12. We are looking forward to adding more books to our catalog. Remember our books come in two versions, Complete and No Answers versions. Complete versions have answers and no answers versions do not. Thank you so much for your support. See you in the next video. God bless.